Hey everyone, this is Michael Sigenthaler, creator and illustrator of the exciting new comic, Skits. So what's going on right now? Right now, we are into tons of pages right now. We're really, really far into it. We're uh, doing the last double page spread for the comic right now for skits. And go out there and back skits, get your uh, copies, get your three book journey. The three book journey is gonna be so awesome. We got the variant storylines, the variant covers. It's an awesome deal. It's a com It completes the story. It's just fantastic, so go get it. Remember, it's three books. Uh, three variant covers, three variant stories, all for one fantastic deal. It's it's wrapped with a belly band. It's uh, signed and numbered. It's going to be a great, great package. So what we're doing right here is uh, we're changing everything up. I had to clean the table. I had to get all the stuff out of the way. I had, you know, I was set up for drawing and inking on 11 by 17. But now we're working on one of the big double page spreads right now. I had to clean it all off and get it ready for doing some perspective drawing. I'm gonna be doing mine just a little bit different. Uh, the way you would normally do it is you'd have a dot somewhere out here, you know, like if you're doing two point perspective, you have to have a dot way over here and a dot way over here. And then I'd put my ruler over here and I'd try and figure out exactly where, you know, my lines needed to be and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that because I just, I, I can't stand doing the rulers. Back in college, uh, we, we played with this one way of doing uh, perspective drawings. And the way you do it is you would use a rubber band. And what you do is you tape a rubber band to both sides of your paper, wherever you wanted the, hor the horizon line to be. And then you would take a, a paper clip and uh, just pull it down and you would get your perfect line. You just use your pencil there. So what I'm gonna do is something similar to that, but I'm gonna attach mine to the edge of the table over here, and then I'm just gonna pull it over, and then I got my all my lines that I need, perspective lines. I'm gonna put one on both sides. Now, normally what I would do is I would connect two rubber bands, or I'd get one big rubber band and just tape it on both sides, but uh, it's kinda hard to find a rubber band that big. So I'm just gonna do, these two little ones that I got here, and normally I would just kind of put it together in the middle, and then I would just move it around. But I don't want that line, this big rubber band going across the entire drawing, right? So I'm just gonna put one at a vanishing point here, and then move it around however I need it, you know? And then uh, put another one over here on this side of the table. So I'm gonna show you how I do that, and uh, That'll be really cool. And I got I got the drawing on here. It's just light sketch. You can't really see it. And, uh, and then I'm on the, and, and it's not really to perspective or anything. So I got to go in and do all that sort of stuff. That's the whole point of putting these on here. Anyway, I get it all set up and I'll show you exactly what it's going to be like. Uh, I'll, I'll record me actually putting the rubber band on the side of the table, clamping it down. That way you can actually see boop, 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 how it works. All right. All right, so I found exactly where my spot's gonna be here for my parallel for my horizontal line, where my one vanishing point's gonna be. It's actually gonna be right here. And what I did is I just measured across the paper and just came straight to the edge of the table. So that's exactly where it's gonna be. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna secure mine a little bit under the table. Just put it right underneath the table here with uh, some duct tape. And then I'll put the clamp right on top of it because. These rubber bands are pretty heavy duty and I'm going to be stretching them, but I don't want, want it flying out from underneath and slapping me in the face or something like that. So, <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Now, normally I would just put it down with tape and I would leave it, but this, these are pretty big, heavy duty rubber bands. I'm talking about little rubber bands on 11 by 17 pieces of paper. This is big and heavy duty, so that's why I'm using the duct tape here. So I got my duct tape, then I'm just gonna take my clamp. I'm gonna clamp it down.
But that should be good enough right there. Now, it ain't going to come flying out from underneath that tape or anything. And I got me a nice one right there from the vanishing point. Now, I'll go ahead and do it to the other side, and then we'll uh, see what we got. All right, so we went ahead and we attached one. We got one over here on this side, right? Now I do my perspective drawing. And I got one right over here, right? So what I'll do is I'll show you exactly how this works. And the reason why I'm using these big thick rubber bands is because it has a nice edge to it, right? So I can just take this and say, okay, I need a, I need a line right there, yep. Need a line right there, a line right there, need another one right there, need one way over here, going back to the vanishing point. So now you can, see, well, it would probably be easier if I did it like this. Right. For those who are left and right handed, so we actually can use it. But anyway, this gives you an idea of exactly what you can do, right? So now I don't have to worry about taking a ruler and lining it up over here and then lining it to here and then doing it, right? For each little mark, I have to keep lining everything up. This right here is way more, is way faster. And um, it's just, a lot better way to do things, you know? And just boom, boom, boom. Don't have to worry about anything. And then of course, you know, I'm gonna need to bring one from over here. There we go, boom, boom. Of course, if you're right-handed, this one's a little easier to do with, right? So anyway, that right there will show you exactly how you know, you can do two-point perspective and not have to worry about using a ruler and getting it lined up and everything like that. You know, it's kind of a pain in the butt. And if you really wanted to get into this, you could do a third uh, point perspective, you know, do a three-point perspective, put one up at the top of your board, right? And then I'd have a rubber band here and I could do, I can move it from here and there. And I, you know, that way I got my one, two, three points, right? So, you know, you can keep going and keep going with this. I'm not gonna do a three point with this one, although it would look really cool if uh, if I was doing like buildings and you're up in some buildings and then I could do it, you know, do something like that. It's, it's, it's just a lot easier to use this right here. So I hope everyone enjoyed that. It's just a little quick tip to help you with your uh, perspective drawing. Uh, it makes everything go a lot quicker, and uh, I've been using it for 25 years now, and uh, I, I just hope it helps you out. I hope this little tip here that I showed you is really going to help you out with your own drawings. Uh, if you have any questions that you need me to answer, you know, about other types of perspective drawing and how... Uh, you could actually do it a little bit easier or uh, how you would integrate other types of perspective techniques into this technique right here. Give me a, a message and uh, I'll help you out as best I can. I, but I really hope this is just one of those things where it just kind of opens your mind. It's like, oh my gosh, I've been doing what, you know, for so long? And it's like, well, this right here, it'll really uh, speed things up for you and make perspective drawing, I think, uh, a little more demystified, actually. So... Uh, just hope this helps you, and uh, y'all have a good day now. Bye.